Hey you all, welcome to Religion Link TV where my spiritual ears stay. If you guys want to go over to teespring.com, you guys can go over and support this channel any way you want to, any way you have. There's mugs, there's t-shirts over there, but you can get this mug in white, gold, and or black. Shalom you all and welcome to Religion Link TV where my spiritual ears stay. Alright guys, welcome to this edition of Religion Link TV and the Miseducation of a Negro book review, synopsis of the author, uh, quotes from the author, my commentation on the book and um you know, I just want to remind you all that we had started going over it chapter by chapter. But people weren't really showing up for it. Like, um, you people definitely show me what your taste is on YouTube. And I'm not going to change my content to cater to your selfish needs or demonic desires for the most part. But I will go ahead and wrap up this part of... Religion Link TV, educating you on the miseducation of a Negro. Negro is how it's really pronounced. There is no long E in the word Negro is Negro. Alright, so I'll go ahead, you know, because it's the same. In 1933, when this man wrote this book, I do believe... I'll give you the facts and everything, so if I'm wrong, I'll go back and correct it. You know, I'll correct myself. I stand corrected. But, um, he wrote this book to let people know that the education that was being passed down from the oppressor, known as the European, Caucasian, Anglo-Saxon, white man, European man, to the Negroes of that time, we were being miseducated then. Nothing has changed. We are being miseducated now. Please read the book for yourself so that you're aware of exactly what the miseducation are. And we have been discussing a lot of it through Christianity on this channel. There's a deception in that religion. And the miseducation of Christianity is what's causing people to perish for lack of knowledge. So what we were doing on Saturday afternoon, we were comparing it to, from a black educational point of view, to now. This is really doing TV and my spiritual ears say. Alright, so we were making a comparison of the two. How he wrote the book, primarily from an educational point of view and how I read the book and added spiritual content on top of it. So, you know, for me it was turning out fine. It was a great thing. I was enjoying myself, doing the best I can, right? So let me go ahead and start giving you some fun facts about the author himself, Carter Goodwin Woodson. Carter Goodwin Wilson was an American historian, author, journalist, and the founder of the Association of the Study of African American Life and History. He was one of the first scholars to study African American history. He was born December 19, 1875 in New Canton, Virginia. He died April 3rd, 1950 in Shaw, Washington, D.C., the District of Columbia. He was educated in such universities as Harvard, the University of Chicago, Beria College, and Dunbar High School. And it's mentioned here he has a sibling, Robert Woodson. Okay, so, born... The fourth child of Anna Eliza Riddle and James Woodson, both free slaves, young Carter worked as a sharecropper and a driver of a garbage truck to help his family. Alright, so, I'm going to save the fun, fun fact of Carter G. Woodson at the end. Now, 
Now, if a lot of you know Lauren Hill, she's a rapper, right? Lauren Hill, the miseducation of Lauren Hill, that's where she get this whole concept from, the miseducation of a Negro. Miss Lauren Hill definitely... There was some miseducation about her. She probably was miseducated along the way in her rap career. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, you know. And the rest is history. Because we know a little bit more of her story. One thing we know, she's always late to pretty much some of her concerts. There's a miseducation right there of time. Time awareness for some people, especially Lauren. So anyway, let's go ahead and continue to reel on with Mr. Goodson. Now, The Miseducation of a Negro definitely is a book originally published in 1933 by Dr. Carter G. Woodson. The thesis of Dr. Woodson's book that is blacks of his day, that is blacks of our day, were being culturally indoctrinated rather than taught in American schools. Indoctrination and education are totally two different things. And I've been telling you on this channel through my spirituality that one of the ways the black people were indoctrinated were their black people reading a Greek Bible serving a white god that's indoctrination that's not your culture but somebody else's culture was indoctrinated in you and you were made to believe it and you keep choosing to believe it this kind of conditioning and brainwashing and mind control causes black people to become dependent and to seek out inferior places in the greater societies of which they are a part of. You will find them in the lower sectors of housing, lower paying jobs, lower parts of the community. Not feeling like they're worthy to even challenge their uh, counterparts in other races with the same job, the same pay. You know, th this whole form of supremacy has gone to some people's brains. I, that's all I can say. Superiority has gone to some people's brains. And inferiority has gone to the brains of some black people because of the conditioning that was put on us. What Dr. Carter G. Woodson, I realized, was trying to do is challenge his readers to become more autodictats and to do for themselves instead of relying on other people to always do for them. One of the things I love about Wakanda is the truth of the matter is it was a false narrative but the only truth in that false narrative was was that black people was the source of the world is the source of the world and the rest of the world should be relying on us to be sustained to have substance sustenance in this world right so i kind of agree with this man wholeheartedly because one of the things that we all know here is that history shows that it does not matter who is in power. Regardless of who is in power, those who have not learned to do for themselves and who have to depend solely on others never obtain any more rights or privileges in the end than they did in the beginning. If you guys want to go ahead and go over to Amazon.com. You guys can go over and get a book for every occasion, every read that the family or need that the family may have. Um, from Christmas to baby books, Black Lives Matter, and or spirituality. It doesn't matter who has the power. If you're relinquishing your control, if you're depending on others to be civil, to have civil rights. Then you obtain no more of those rights or privileges in the end than you did in the beginning. You're just going along to get along just to belong. 
Now, with that being said, guys, please read the book. I'm just going to give you a little quotes of the books of Dr. Carter's. One of the famous lines that I find and pick out in the book, and here's the quote. When you control a man's thinking, you do not have to worry about his actions. When you control a man's thinking, you do not have to worry about his actions. You do not have to tell him not to stand here or go yonder. You do not have to tell him to stand here or go yonder. He will find his proper place and will stay in it. He will find his proper place and stay in it. You do not need to send him to the back door. You don't need to send him to the back door. He will go without being told. He will go without being told. In fact, if there is no back door, he will cut one for his special benefit. In fact, if there is no back door, he will cut one for his special benefit. His education makes it necessary. You see? Some of y'all so educated out here, you too smart for your own bridges. Because when them people are telling you to stand here, you stand here. To go there, you go there. Hell, Carter's even saying here, sometimes you ain't even got to tell him to do. He's obedient and already know where to go. Because of Colossians 3 and 22, servants obey your masters in the flesh and the eye service and the singleness. Fearing the Lord, obey your masters. Ephesians 6 and 5, servants obey your master. See how well trained and conditioned you are through Christianity? That's where the problem lies, people. More so than the education of the public, public educational system. There's something broken in his spirit. To the fact where a black man will go around the back and cut a back door if there's none there. He's so well trained. He know what master already expects. He knows what to do for master. He knows what to say. He knows how to behave when master is present. So let me go on and give you a little bit of quotes here, people. All right. Let me get out of this miseducation of a Negro because I don't want any Negroes, Negroes to be miseducated on this channel. For any means, purposes, uh, for any reasons or anything. Let me see. Let's go back here. So some of his other quotes are, The mere imparting of information is not education. Just because you give me information does not mean you educated me. When you control a man's thinking, you do not have to worry about his actions. If I control your thinking, you're acting on behalf of me anyway. That's the devil, people. The devil is controlling people's thinking. So he already know how you're going to act. Those who have no record of what their forebears have accomplished law lose the inspiration which comes from the teaching of biography and history. Let me repeat this quote again. Those who have no record of what their for of what their forebears you have no record of what forebears have accomplished lose the inspiration which comes from the teaching and biography of his history. The spirit in you will bear witness with the spirit in heaven. And the t-shirts I was telling you over on um, Teespring, we're called Winksters over here. We lace, right? We're lace. We lace is looking at you side eye. So when you look at the back of the t-shirt, this is what you see. 
to give you an account of Christ and the true teachings of what went on in this world. Religion is one of the things that have black people in a condition which is the state of the mind which we are in, which some of us are in to this day. That's why my name is Religion Wink TV. You've been hoodwinked, bamboozled. Now I see you as being religion winked. Once your way, the way you walked after the word of God and followed in his ways, the way, the original way, the way, the truth, and the life, it became distorted with this Christianity and you're forever being miseducated even within the cemetery Bible colleges. The seminary schools of this world. How can your oppressor educate you? When your oppressor is the one oppressing you. How can the Jesus of the oppressors set you free? The mere imparting of information is not education. The mere fact that they told you this white man named Jesus was your God was not educating you to set you free or to set your soul free. It was giving you false hope. So you all, please, let me give you some more information on the book in and of itself, okay? So, it goes on to say here that the book has about 108 pages. It was published in 1933. You can find this book on hardcover, paperback, and ebook. You can find it in the United States. It's in English. And also, now let me go on and give you the fun fact because I do believe we're at 16 minutes and 11 seconds right now. So, let me go ahead and give you this fun fact so we can wrap it up. Now, Black history is tied in with Carter Goodwin Woodson, right? So, back in 1926, Negro History Week was created by Carter G. Woodson, you all. A noted African-American historian, scholar, educator, and publisher. I destined... I, I, I dream to be those things one day. Black History Month. The shortest month in a, in a year. 28 days is when black people celebrate their heritage. Which you don't have to wait to black history. You don't have to wait to the month of February. You don't have to be indoctrinated by what the white people or what even black people think you should do with your culture. You can celebrate it in this country every day of the year. 365 days can you celebrate and you should celebrate and you have the right to celebrate you being black. Now, he created what's known as Negro History Week. It was a week. Now it's a month. When you're ready to move into a year, I'm here for that, okay? That's the kind of drama I'm here with. That's the kind of messiness I want to see this world get into right now. <laughs> The messiness of the black people and the right to be civil in this world. Yeah, let's get into it. Spiritually, though, I'm not just going to go out there and fight like the rest of your black leaders and leave God on the throne. No, I'm going to take the living God of the armies of the living God in the battle with me, okay? And I'm going to make sure I have on the whole armor of God when I do this. So, guys... African American history is the part of American history that looks at the history of African Americans or black Americans in the United States. First of all, history is history, but if you want to separate it, then give us the truth of our history and why we were enslaved by the oppressor, the European Caucasian white man who gave you the majority of your education in this world. And whom Dr. Carter G. Woodson came along to say that 
the miseducation of a Negro is what's killing our community because I don't know if he know like I know, but the Bible says people perish for lack of knowledge. So when the oppressor kept the real education and truth from you, he thought and hoped and believed that you would perish for lack of knowledge. So with that being said, I'll include the Bible verse here. This has been a great video. If you haven't, please hit the subscription box, the bell icon next to it. I would greatly appreciate it, you all. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you on the next upload, premiere, and or live. Shalom and stay blessed. Oh my God, hold on. This is Religion Wing TV. Thank you so much. God bless you all and may peace be with you. The miseducation of a Negro is in part due to the video I did past the uneducated Negroes and why I don't do Jesus. Please go watch that video. I'll link it down below. And you all remember the miseducation of a Christian is just as worse as miseducating a Negro. They're one and the same. Shalom and thank you for tuning in to Religion Wing TV. My spiritual ears stay. Before we go, thank you so much for watching my video. This is Religion Wing TV and my spiritual year. Stay.